You too. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Could I Change? Today we're going to be talking about Mitch McConnell and what happened with this whole situation. Let's go ahead and hop right into that. Uh, we're on a path to finishing the NDA uh, this week. It's been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of uh, Else you want to say? I'm sure it's go back to your office. Do you want to say anything else to the press? Go ahead, John. Let's go back to you. Go ahead, John. Could you address what happened here at the start of the press conference? And was it related to your injury from earlier this year where you suffered a concussion? Is that no, well, I'm fine. You're fine? You're fully able to yeah. do your job? And that was tough because right at the issue like are you able to do your job i mean goodness gracious so so here's what some people are saying some people say it has something to do with the injury that he had suffered back in i believe uh march uh he came back in april i mean it, maybe not march maybe about january february all I know is he came back in april he had a concussion he had broke ribs this has something to do with his polio and the fact that he walks with the gate he had trouble walking which is what cause him to fall, break his ribs, and have the concussion. Some people are saying it's related to that. Others are saying that it was a seizure. And that some reason that when you see seizures, you tend to think that people jolt and all that kind of stuff. Everybody has seizures differently. Um, and some people, they have seizures just like this, where it's just a complete froze, completely frozen. I don't know if you guys remember, there was a video back in the day that was really popular. There was somebody who was talking to somebody and the girl was just, she was laughing. She's like, <laughs> and she stood in that for about 60 seconds. People say that's how some seizures happen. Obviously, I've never dealt with seizures. I've seen seizures, but I've only seen the mixture of the, the jolting. And I've seen some people just stare in the space. Okay. So I've seen a couple of the ways, but I never know if somebody's having a seizure. I'm not going to lie to you. So. I, but in this situation, I do believe it was possible that he may have had a seizure and that's what happened. You can see, if we go back to the video, when it, when it all starts, the seizure, watch his hands. Keep watching his, uh, for you guys, just watch this arm right here. You see? Take a step back. Watch these two arms. Watch how this arm starts to shake. And to see this, he's trying to hold on. Completely stiffened up. Okay, okay Mitch. Anything else you want to say? I'm sure it's go back to your office. Do you want to say anything else to the I don't know, guys. I think it made it possibly been a seizure. And this could be the repercussions of having a concussion. Um, he was able to go back to the press conference and start answering questions as normal. It's just one of those things that happened. Now, some people are also saying that he's getting too old. We have too many people who are in this um, in Congress and all this stuff for way too long, getting them to their 70s and to their 80s. And that some people believe they should start cutting it off around 65 if the top being 75 and just cut it all off at that point. That way we don't have to deal with this. Listen, guys. There is this thing with the old age that does happen. And I'm going to have to say, I do lean towards at some point, we got to start cutting that age because people are just going to naturally fall. I hate that these, these older people have to get made fun of because it could easily happen to us one day. And I don't think people are always trying to be malicious, but it is going to happen. Eventually, our mental health is going to fall. There are people who will live until they're 100. One day, they're great. Next day, they're gone, pretty much. Mind is completely gone fried. And so it's going to happen to the best of us if we ever get to grow old. So I do think we need to start having this limit. There's nothing. I understand the push that age is just a number. But at some point, we need to start cutting off that limit. That way, we don't have to keep running into these situations. Let people live out the rest of their lives doing something else. 
I want to say this and I can understand. I've heard this from other old people. I want to say older people, but elderly people who have gotten past into the 70s. The reason they don't want to stop what they're doing, because when you stop doing what you want to do in your life, the closer you are to death is what they say. Like if I do this until I'm 70 years old, it's the day I stop doing it. What am I living for at this point? What I'm about to do, just go home and eat cake every day, go home and just enjoy watching TV. People live for this stuff. I don't know this man personally, and I'm not here to say which way he stands or any stuff like that. But people, they do have aspirations. They want to keep doing what they're doing until they're gone. And the day they know that they have to stop is the day they know they're closer to death and they lose all of their ambition and they know their mind's starting to go. Just imagine how scary that is to know that your mind is starting to go. So I can understand why people try to push their limits. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Goodbye.